Today I'm going to show you how to draw or lay out a transitional Y branch. This one here, as you can see, will be a flat on bottom Y branch. If you think some of these videos may be helpful, simply subscribe for future layouts and fabrication tips. Layout or fabrication begins with a shop ticket of what we want. And in this case, we want a six by four to a four by two on both ends Y branch. Here you see a front view of this Y branch and a top view of the Y branch. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is a working view. And in this case, it will be our bottom cheek because it is flat. From your shop ticket, mark two inches, then six inches and another two inches. That's horizontally. And going up, we know we want a two inch throat and a four inch opening, which means six inches tall. I'm just transferring my dimensions from one side of my Y to the other side. Setting my dividers to two inches and strike an arc on both sides. And this should leave with six inches at the bottom of the Y. Six by four inches deep. Again, we've said we want a two inch throat radius. Now I'm setting my dividers to scribe the heel and the dividers are now set to six inches. With your dividers set at six inches and using your throat radius as a center point, strike both arcs until they intersect. The opening on the right side and left side are four by two inches in depth. This is a flat on bottom fitting. And for layout, it is good practice to letter. A, B, B, A, because they're both symmetrical on both sides. Here is C, D, C, D, and E. And as a beginner, I would suggest you draw these measurement lines or element lines to later transfer to your true length triangle. And because this fitting is symmetrical on both sides, you would have the same dotted element lines on the left as you are, have on the right. So now I'm going to start building my true length triangle. Start with a vertical line and a horizontal line that must be 90 degrees. We are now going to set our dividers from B to E and transfer it to the vertical line. 
and call it BE. Do the same thing with CE and also DE. Now I must find point F, and in order to find point F, I'm going to bisect the throat. I will also put in my element lines. and transfer the element line lengths to the vertical height on my true length triangle. Now go ahead and set your dividers or your compass to BC and transfer that measurement up onto your vertical line. At the same time, do the same thing with BF. And you will note that CF is identical to BF. Now we must figure the difference of draw. And you can see here, we are going from four to two, meaning Halfway through is one inch, and the full drop is two inches. Only if you like the video. Now we are ready to start laying out the top developed cheek. Here I'm going to start with six inches because that is the opening of the bottom part of this Y branch. The next thing I want to do is find E. And from B to E, this is a true length line, meaning it does not have to be triangulated. Set your compass to B, strike an arc both sides to establish E. Again, make sure you used the true length. And now let's go E to C. E to C is triangulated over two inches because it is a full drop. So on the bottom true length triangle, put your needle on the two inch. You have now triangulated E towards C. C is somewhere on that arc. In order to find C, we need to go from B to E. B to C, I'm sorry. B to C is full drop. Now C to D is a true length line. We know it's four inches because that's the opening of the duct. 
and we know where point C is. Therefore, put the needle of your compass on C and strike an arc towards D. This arc equals four inches. E to D is dropping two inches. Now let's go ahead and try to scribe the throat on our developed cheek. We will need to find F. F is done over a half drop. B to F and C to F are the same length. So let's do this on both sides because it is the same throat on both sides. So now in order to scribe the throat, I need to bisect BF and CF. Draw both bisector lines and where they intersect is going to be the swing radius point for the throat. I will give this letter H. Connect CFB and with the same radius CH or BH using a shortcut method, that is H. It just simply saved me from bisecting. Now that the throats are done, we are going to scribe the heel. To do this, Bisect ED. Set your dividers to a little greater than half. Swing an arc at E and swing an arc at D. And then draw a bisector line. This bisector line should come down far enough to intersect with DC. And we will give this intersecting point a name G. Now with your dividers set from G to D or G to E, swing your heel radius. You can now go and repeat the same steps for the other side. For fabricating or assembling, you will need to bend these two lines. B, E, and C, E. 
And in any manual, you will see they say simply bend or kink. And with practice, you will know how much to kink. But for now, all I'm simply stating is kink up or down, depending on what the inside of your fitting is. We always try to keep the marks on the inside of the fitting when assembling. So now let's go and figure out how to lay out the throat. The throat, we know on the working view that we have a two inch throat, multiplied by 1.57, that will be the length of my throat. The throat would, will be three and a 16. This throat goes from four inches on one end to two inches on the other. And here you see me scribing up approximately four inches and approximately two. From B to C is my flat on bottom. Mark four inches. And from C mark two inches. Connect those two dots, and this represents the top part. You can see it's sloping down two inches. And I need another one identical. And as for the heel, there are a few methods to figure out the length of the heel, but we need to figure out how long that arc is from E to D. You can either use dividers, a peewee tape, or even math. But for now, I'm gonna use my dividers. Here I've set my dividers to one inch, and I'm just simply walking it on the line. Five and a hair more than six. So therefore, the heel length is going to be six and almost a sixteenth. And it also goes from four inches on one end to two inches on the other. That's two inches, that's four. As I said, two inches on one end, four inches on the other is the layout for the heel. And I need to produce another one identical to this one. It is important to note when fabricating or assembling these, you will need to pay a lot of attention to the inside of your patterns and run them through the lock formers and the brakes in order to assemble it properly. Here you can see the Y branch is flat on the bottom the top is sloping down two inches on each end. We would have six by four inch deep to four by two inch deep on both Y's on each side. 